what's up you guys how you doing so today i'm going to be telling you what i like about the uk versus what i don't like about the uk i wish i had filmed this video when i just arrived so that i'll have like a first impressions what i like versus what i don't like you know video and then i'll give you guys an updated version like six months after or one year after i've been in the uk now for going to four months so i'm still fresh but not so fresh so i wish i had done like a very very fresh version of this video so i know that some of these things are subject to change the more i spend time here the more i get used to some things and the more i you know change my mind about some things and that reminds me in one of my videos where i said that i in this uk i feel some kind of peace of mind or i have some kind of peace of mind that i did not have in nigeria and that the fun fact is that when i was in nigeria i did not know that i did not have that peace of mind okay and some people in my comment section we are crying <laughs> how can you say you don't have peace of mind in your father's land how can you say you don't have peace of mind in nigeria <laughs> calm down okay relax now the truth is that when i say peace of mind i mean some i mean something different from what you guys might be thinking okay because if you guys know me i am not one of those people that feel like oh i want to go live the night i want to leave nigeria because nigeria is so terrible i'm not one of those people i'll never be one of those people like i was okay with my life in nigeria i was happy with my life in nigeria i was actually sad to have to be living in nigeria okay i wasn't one of those people that were like ah i'm, I'm running away from my country no and i'm one of those people that I will still find my way back to Nigeria eventually. So this is not, I'm not one of those channels that you come to, to come and hear, oh, how Nigeria is so terrible or how UK is so terrible. I'm not one of those channels, okay? I am okay here and I was okay in Nigeria. It is not about the location, it's about the person, right? But when I talk about peace of mind, that leads me to the first thing I like about the UK and that is the fact that this place is very peaceful and very quiet, okay? Continue crying, but that's just the way it is. This place is so peaceful. I don't know if it is because of the area I live in or the country, the city I live in or whatever, but this place is very, very peaceful, very quiet. Nobody's disturbing you. You're not disturbing anybody. Nobody's asking you any question. You're not asking anybody any question. Like, it's so peaceful. Nobody's bothering you. You're not bothering anybody. Once you follow the rules, you are just good to go. Like, you can just be living your life quietly and, you know, nobody sends you that's just it nobody sends you you don't send anybody so it's a very very peaceful place if you want to live like a very quiet peaceful life then this place is actually good for you now i'm not saying that you cannot live a, a quiet peaceful life in nigeria but i can't even explain it that's that's just to be honest i can't explain it like you just have to be there <laughs> you just have to live here to experience what i'm talking about the environment is so beautiful that's another thing i like about this place the environment is so beautiful you guys every day any day i go on walks with my husband or while we're driving around i'm always like oh see this flower oh see that flower oh see that house oh see that greenery oh see that you know field it's so beautiful this place is very very beautiful there's no death on the road there's no rubbish on the road even people that live in highbrow areas in nigeria you can attest to the fact that even when you live in a very good area it's either there is death in that your area or once you leave your estate you will see death all around okay you see dirt you see dirt you see rubbish you see nonsense all around you know scraps all around you see scrappy cars you see scrappy houses you see rubbish all around that is how it is in nigeria and when you're in Nigeria, you're used to it, so you don't really see it, right? Your, like your eyes, you get used to it, basically, so you don't really see it for what it is. It's when you come to a country like this and you start living here, not just visiting, no. When you live here and you now look back, you'll now be like, ah, Nigeria, no fine, sha. <laughs> Nigeria, no fine, sha. Like, these people know how to take care of their environment, like, really, really take care of their environment. A road, the, the lines on the road are fading, they repaint it. Like, it, it's, it's, it's so shocking. To me, the lines on the road looks normal, right? But they repainted this because it's fading, like in some certain areas around here, right? You see flowers that were intentionally planted all around, all around. Even the places that, you know, are kind of like bushes and stuff, they are taken care of. You see people walking on those places. It's not like in Nigeria that you can have one thick bush near your house and nobody cares about it. Like, people take care of their environment here and it's still adds to that peace of mind that you feel because everywhere is just beautiful like you don't have a humbakasi you don't have pepper body you don't have um you're not easily ir ir irritable okay you're not easily irritable here because the weather is good that's another thing i like about this place oh god the weather 
is for me, okay? Look at me in the house wearing this long sleeve. On a normal day in Nigeria, I know fits now. The weather has to be very, 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 very cold in Nigeria for me to wear long sleeve like this at home, okay? So, at the end of the day, I actually like the way the weather is here. Yes, it can be kind of gloomy. Like right now, the weather is somehow, I, don't, I didn't even bother trying to adjust like that or anything. The weather is somehow because it's been raining, right? But to me, it's not as bad as some people make it out to be. We actually get sun here and the sun actually is very hot when you're indoors, okay? <laughs> Which is very funny. If you are indoors and the sun is shining through the window, okay, like through the window here, when it is touching your skin, it feels hot. But if you go outside, the weather will be cold and the sun will still be bright, okay? We get very, very bright sun here. Sometimes when I'm filming, if you've seen some of my videos, you will see me like adjusting light up and down. Let's just be going up and down because the sun comes, the sun comes in very, very, very bright here. Okay, so yeah, we actually have sun. You have to actually wear your sunscreen if you live here. I like the environment, I like the weather, I like how peaceful and how quiet and how beautiful this place is. It is something that I didn't really know that I needed until I got here, okay? So when I was talking about, oh, I feel a peace of mind here that I didn't feel in Nigeria, that is what I mean, okay? Aside the fact that insecurity is looming over our heads everywhere, to be honest, okay? But more in Nigeria, there is this insecurity that is just, you know, somewhere in the air okay it is more in nigeria however for me personally it is not a problem for me insecurity is not a problem for me because i know that it is god that is protecting me it is not the uh, police it's not the army it's not the whatever we have here or don't have in nigeria or whatever it's not the infrastructure that is, that is protecting me in particular me and my family okay so i'm not really worried about insecurity either ways because i know that it is god that is protecting me i mean i'll do my job to secure myself and just make sure that you know i'm not leaving myself open to attacks or whatever both here and in nigeria but the insecurity that people run away from nigeria for is not really why i left nigeria because i, I wasn't bothered about it like now god it protects me okay like <laughs> i'm not gonna die nothing no evil shall come near me and the thing is that yes of course here they value human life they obviously value human life here a lot however there are so many stories i have heard of people that were attacked here people that were stabbed here people that had accidents here people that were killed here so yeah like the feeling of you know insecurity is worse in nigeria but if god is not protecting you i'm sorry it doesn't matter where you go to your village people are going to meet you there okay that's just the fact another thing i like about the uk is the easy access to things okay easy access to shops <laughs> even though i'm not a shopaholic like that but easy access to shops easy access to brands like if you want to buy stuff easy access to get anything you want to get even if it's food in fact just be in your house they'll come and meet you they'll be sending flyers to you the other day i was talking about i think i was telling you guys about how i don't know how to go about cleaners and stuff like that just how many days ago I got a flyer here about you know a clean a, a cleaning company that was telling me about their different packages and all of that. Like I didn't even need to stress myself to even search. If you want access to credit cards, and that's for people that actually use credit cards. Personally, I don't. Okay, yes, I know is your credit is very important. You know, I know all those things. Okay, but personally, I don't use credit cards. At least right now, I don't. So. But if you want that kind of thing, you have it's like they will be they'll be begging you to come and collect. They'll be begging you, like <laughs> once you check out, you will see five different options of things to you know. So it's actually very nice here how accessible things are, like all the services you need, anything you need to make your life easy, you can get it here. Okay, all you need is just your money. Now your money go talk. Once you have your money, you can get it here. Whereas in Nigeria, sometimes you will have your money, but you will still suffer to get those things. <laughs> you know, you will still stress yourself, you will still have to wait to get some of those things, but yeah, that's a plus. Another thing I like about here is lots of activities for family and kids. Oh my goodness. Lots of activities. Now me, they run. Now me, they run. Like, what kind of activities do you want? Do you want swimming, jumping, uh, sports? Do you know, there's something about performing arts, something, something. Like, you want to learn line dancing, and be what they call it, all this classical dancing and stuff like that. They have so many activities here. The question is, do you have time? <laughs> That's just the question. Do you have time? If you make out time, you will not, you won't think twice about where to take your kids to, where to carry your kids to, to go and have fun, you know, where you can go and have fun as a family. You don't need to stress yourself. If you just have your time and you have your money, those activities are plenty. Like, I don't think 
you can exhaust all those activities if you live here, okay? I don't think you can exhaust them. I don't understand when people complain about social life here. Even though I kind of guess what they're talking about, at the same time, I feel like you need to put yourself out there. And I like the fact that they make those, I think it's even conscious on their own part, they make those avenues for you to actually socialize because they know that it's not easy to socialize in this their country, okay? It's not easy. Like I was saying about the activities for kids, I don't even need to take them far. Like we can just walk down, there's a park here, very nice park. There are so many parks around, not even just one, but the one that's closest to my house is one that we go to most times. And it's just easy for my kids to just go there and play. Well maintained park, okay, well maintained. If you see that kind of thing in Nigeria. Yeah, so the first year it might work, it might work well, but after that it's going to be rubbish, okay? Especially since it is not private owned, like it's not a company that you are going to pay money to to access the park, right? Because it's just a public um, park. If this was in Nigeria, by now nobody would be going there. Like maybe it's drunkards or drug dealers. <laughs> that would be there, right? I've had ice cream trucks pass multiple times, even though we've not actually caught anyone. <laughs> the last one that we wanted to get, when we were indoors, I was hearing the truck, but by the time we got out, we did not see the truck again. Even when we were at the playground, we kept hearing the truck. I kept praying that the truck would come closer, we can buy ice cream for the kids. But yeah, like all those things that I had growing up, I remember having ice cream trucks growing up. We used to buy ice cream from ice cream truck growing up. But since I since I had my kids in Nigeria, I don't think I ever saw an ice cream truck. I think I had one once, but it will go by. Even if I see, I'm not going to buy. <laughs> the highest thing I can buy is Super Yogo. That's if they're not even making the fake now, right? So, anyway, I just like the fact that this place is very, you know, family friendly, very children friendly. If you have kids, okay. Now, if you're single and you come here, I don't know how interesting it's going to be for you. However, like I said, there are so many activities. There's even one I even saw walking through no, not that for deals. Is it Tulips Garden or something like that? Like, you can go and walk through a, a, a Tulips, I think it's Tulips Garden. I was just like, <laughs> you people actually have a lot of things to do in this country. Another thing I like so much is that, at least in this my house, so. We don't have ants, we don't have roaches, we don't have rats, we don't have pests, okay? We don't really have pests like pests like that. I've seen cats around, but aside cats, you don't really see any other animals like rats or rodents and stuff. I think partially because of the weather as well. Even bugs, you don't really see bugs that much, except like in the afternoon when you go out to the... Um, like the field, uh -huh, you will see bugs in the field but inside the house, like I'm not really seeing like flies you know how in Nigeria if you are cooking and you open your windows you just flies just enter the kitchen up and down like in my house or anywhere in Nigeria anytime I'm cooking and I open the windows flies will shall find their way because of our Okoroko and our Ogili right? or even our regular food, our crayfish they actually attract flies a lot but here, even in times I've cooked I always try to open the, the window or the door when I cook, the kitchen door I don't really have flies. I'm not, I don't even think I've even seen flies coming inside. I've seen flies here though, but just two, and they were so big and so slow. Like you see, you see the fly just flying majestically. I'm like, wow, you're not running for your life, Abi. <laughs> your life is so sweet. You're not running for your life. But normally, like no mosquito, no mosquito whatsoever. No, that's a huge plus now. Uh uh. Do you know how to wake up in the night in Nigeria to go and be checking for mosquito around? Even when we put nets everywhere, I still wake up and go and check because sometimes they leave the nets open, you know. Now, the final thing I like about this place, I'm sure I have other ones, but the ones I can remember, the final thing I would like to say is that I like the fact that this place actually suits my personality. Okay, this environment, like on paper, not in reality, okay, on paper, <laughs> this place is the perfect place for someone like me who is not so social, who likes to do her own thing herself, who likes to just keep to herself most times, right? Who likes to just don't st don't stress me, I won't stress you, right? For someone like me, this is like the perfect environment for me, okay? On paper, like I said, in reality, it might be a bit different because as much as it favors me in that aspect, there are so many aspects in which it doesn't favor me, okay? Now, that brings me to what I don't like about the UK. Now, the first thing I don't like about the UK is the cost of living, okay? You guys in Nigeria are complaining about inflation, things are expensive, things are expensive. Hmm. <laughs> Come and see how much we are buying things here. And again, I'll always keep saying this, right? I am not looking at converting a Naira, okay? Even though Sometimes I, do, I still do that, right? But I'm not saying, oh, how much we buy egg here, then convert it to Naira. No. I'm talking about the ratio 
of how much you earn to how much you spend. Okay, so when people come and telling me, and that's because you're conversing, it's not. I'm not trying to convert. I'm talking about how much. I'm talking about how much you earn here versus how much you spend here. It's crazy. Okay, it's crazy. Now the upside. Will I even call this upside? I will say the ad. Is the advantage? I will say the logic that actually helps you know helps you understand that uh, um, um, salary slash expenses dynamics right the logic that will help you be okay with it is that when you are in this country you don't really need to save so much money okay now i'm not saying you're not going to save oh i'm not saying don't try to save me i i save my husband he saves he cannot do without savings i cannot do without savings right so we try very well to save right but you don't really need savings as much as you need it in nigeria okay i'll talk more about that in another video where i talk about finances right i won't talk about like our finances how we manage our finances here and you know how we are coping with our finances here right so you don't really need to save much here but things are very expensive in this country okay the only thing that i'll say is cheap here are those brands that we buy in nigeria like all those Oibo brands that people import to Nigeria and we buy in Nigeria. Hey, it's cheaper here. Yes, it's cheaper here because this is where it came from. So something that is six pounds, I'll buy it six pounds here. But in Nigeria, I'll buy it like 20k or even 30k because they'll add the six pounds, add the shipping, add their cost of living, their shop and stuff like that, and also add their profits, right? So that's the only thing I'll say is cheaper here. Every other thing is cheaper in Nigeria. That's just the truth. Now, another thing I hate about this place is the water. Oh God, the water annoys the hell out of me. Now, I don't think it's even a universal UK thing. I think it's just this my area or this house. I think it's this area or this house there. I don't know, whatever. But the water is so hard and so annoying. Like, why do I have water residue? Why is water living residue everywhere? It's so annoying. Like, even when you just take like a rag, a wet rag, and you clean like a screen or something, go back there, you'll see water residue. Why? Why? And we're paying for this water. We're paying for this water. In Nigeria, once you have your borehole, you're free. But here, you're paying for water every month, and the water is not even clean water. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, people, people even drink it, but it's not clean water. We had to go and buy filter for the water we drink in the kitchen, and I also had to buy filter shower heads for, you know, both bathrooms, right? For my kids' bathroom and for my bathroom. So that's how I'm even trying to manage it, too, because the plates, the water we see used to wash plates, is still the hard water the water we use to wash clothes is still the hard water so because of it i have to add um, vinegar all the time into my washing load so that the water can so that the clothes can rinse well if not your clothes will be smelling of soap so much because the hard water doesn't really rinse things well that's why you will finish washing plates in the in the dishwasher and the plates are still kind of dirty kind of you know you just see residue on them right it's annoying okay and it's expensive to start with so it's annoying that i'm paying so much for water and the water is not even good water i still have to pay extra to filter the water like what the hell man what the hell another thing i don't really like here is how unfamiliar everything is okay for me personally that's something i struggle with a lot the fact that everything is so unfamiliar like almost everything i need to be asking questions almost everything i need to be asking questions i need to be doing research uh, just to leave my house i have to do research <laughs> i have to do research to leave my house in nigeria it's kind of intuitive i don't know maybe because i grew up in nigeria it's kind of intuitive some things you know it's very simple to get some things done but here you have to do your research or if not you enter trouble so everything here is so unfamiliar but now i'm thinking about it is it not like that in nigeria don't we also research things in nigeria i don't know but there's a difference here things are just unfamiliar i don't know it's, it's annoying fruits nigerian fruits oh my goodness i miss nigerian fruits anytime i see mango and odara on instagram i feel like just entering the the, the the phone right i miss the fact that in nigeria i had access to all those fruits because even when i was in nigeria i didn't really like oibo fruit so i know that there are people who in nigeria their best fruits are still apples and grapes and stuff like that especially my kids do they put that that was their best fruit. No, me. My best fruit was mango, odara, plum, like all those ube, all those things that, ah. I just said ube now. My mouth is not doing me one kind. Hey, God, I miss my ube. Anyway, so I miss those things about Nigeria, which is normal anyways. It's, I mean, it's nothing new. And they actually have good fruits here if you come down and try them out. They actually have good fruits here. Since they have pineapple, they have watermelon very expensive though but they have pineapple they have watermelon um they have bananas they have apples and grapes so those are the things that we eat most times but even when i was in nigeria right 
when I go to market and buy all these things I just mentioned, the apples, the pineapples, the watermelon, the bananas, I usually buy them and give my family members. Then I now buy my own, <laughs> this mango, dara, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, what's that? Intaleku, I bought the college. All those things, liki liki, intaleku na, yes, all those kind of things, I think that I actually like. I miss the fact that I don't really have easy access to them here. Um, some places you can actually get those things if you want, but they're very expensive. Like you can get to Dara, not so fresh, and it's very, very expensive. Another thing I don't like about this place, in fact, I can say I hate it about this place, <laughs> is the size of the house, you guys. This house is too small for me. Yes, I know, uh, Yipo's house is even big compared to some people's houses. I know all those things, okay, but I'm just comparing it to where I'm coming from, okay? I'm comparing it to how I was living in Nigeria and the trajectory of how I was supposed to go in Nigeria, I was never supposed to go to a smaller house. It was never in the plan for us to leave our house or leave the rented house I was staying in and move into a smaller house. It was never the trajectory. Hate the size of my bedroom. Oh my goodness. It's annoying. The size of my bedroom eh, is actually one of the things I hate the most about this UK. Why is my bedroom that small? Even this office, right, which is, they call this one a box room or they call it the fourth room because they said it's a four bedroom apartment. So it's, it's supposed to be the fourth bedroom, okay? Even though this is like a box room, right? Our box room in Nigeria was bigger than this. That is the box room in Nigeria that we converted to my husband's office was bigger than this. I, at this, uh, anyway, I'm not trying to complain too much. I'm not ungrateful, okay? Even the size of the bathroom is quite annoying, especially the master bedroom. That's what annoys me the most. Because my kids' room, if this if this house wasn't furnished, right, I would have furnished my kids' room in such a way that they would still have plenty of space. I would have put double bunk for Eva and Sophia. I would have put a smaller bed for Cora. You know, their rooms are okay for them as kids, right? But for me, as a grown adult, that is actually not a small person, okay? <laughs> I mean, in terms of my physical size, I want a small person. So, I need space, I need space, right? So that room is just annoys me, but you know, nothing I can do about it. Another thing that annoys me about their house structure again is how thin the walls are, okay? The walls are so thin. Like, I don't have cameras in this house, right? For now, because we're, we're planning to install cameras, but I can tell you what my kids are doing downstairs when I'm upstairs. I can tell you almost accurately, almost 100% accurately, what my kids are doing in their rooms. Okay, at night, when I'm sleeping, when my child wakes up from her bed in her room, I can hear it. This is a four bedroom or three bedroom household. Okay, this is a, like, <laughs> their house, their rooms are not so close to our rooms. However, if, if Cora should roll in her bed too much, I can tell from my room because of how thin the walls are. So, I don't like that one at, as well. It feels like I'm living in a cardboard box. But yeah, I don't like it. Um, I wish I could change that. Now money go talk, Sha. Like if I wanted a bigger house, I'm sure I can get. But do you have the money? Can you afford it? <laughs> do you want to go steal? And speaking of houses as well, they don't have screens on their windows and their doors. I mean nets, okay? They don't have nets or screens on their windows and their doors. So when it comes to the finishing of houses, right? Of course, hands down, the finishing of houses here in the UK is top notch. Like when compared to Nigeria, Nigerians were just jokers. We are jokers. The, our painters in Nigeria are jokers. Our bricklayers, whoever the screeders, all those people, they are jokers. Because when you come here, everything is perfect. Especially in these houses that are new, like these new houses, everything is perfect, right? However, not having nets actually bothers me more than not having burglary proof, right? Because I mean, the windows are very strong and once you close the windows, they are locked, right? They, they are very, very strong. But not having nets. So in summer now, when everywhere is hot, even though I've heard that summer is not what I'm thinking though. Because I'm thinking that, oh, summer, everywhere will be hot, everybody will be outside playing. I heard that it's not like that though. I heard that, <laughs> hey, God. I heard that it's not that hot though, that it's hot, but it's not Nigerian hot, okay? But anyway, I feel weird opening the windows, even now, like at night sometimes, I try to just crank the windows open small. I feel weird because I feel like there's no barrier between me and the outside world. I feel weird opening the windows at night. In, at night, I don't open the windows like fully. It's during the day that when I want to air the house, like once a day, I can just open the windows fully. But at night, there's something they put on the windows too that you just used to open the window, but it doesn't open fully. So you just crank it open a bit to receive fresh air. So when I even do that at night, even though it's just a small space in the window, I feel uncomfortable. I feel like there's no barrier between me and the outside world. So I wish their windows had nets. Um, what else again? Um, bills, bills, bills up and down. You pay for everything. Yeah, that one is normal. That one everybody knows. You know, I like the structure of how bills are paid in Nigeria compared to here, which is every month. But I understand why they make it every month here because of how 
you make money here as well it's not as easy as it is in nigeria to just gather your rent one year and pay like eh who you be <laughs> gather your rent here one year and pay how much are you earning then finally i'm sure there are other things i don't like that i've not mentioned okay but yeah you guys should just continue the conversation in the comment section but finally what i don't like about this country is the fact that it feels like paradise with a fence okay it feels like you're living in paradise but at the edge of that paradise like at the edges there's a very huge almost like penitentiary kind of fence like prison kind of fence at the edge of that paradise okay so you're free but you're not so free like you know somewhere in your heart <laughs> no matter how i say ah nobody sends you don't send anybody you're just minding your business yeah, no matter how you feel that way on a normal day deep down in your soul in your anapho in your tummy in your, in your from the bottom of your heart you know that you are not so free you know that it can change for you if you make a slight mistake okay so you have to be very careful the way you do things what you accept what you don't accept what you do what you don't do somebody is always watching you so that's what it feels like okay it feels like when they say free range chicken it feels like where you know you're a chicken that is left to play in the field so you feel like you're free not knowing that there's some parts you cannot pass there's a part you get to you see that you're not actually free it's actually a very very huge fence with barbed wires okay electric fence <laughs> around right so that's what it feels like sometimes that's what i don't like about this place no matter how you want to you know acclimatize yourself no matter how you want to be one of them you are not one of them you know they know they know you know but all of everybody we all know that you are not from this place this is not your country so you have to proceed with caution but like i was discussing with somebody recently and she was like to her that's what even makes it easier for her to actually manage this place knowing that it's not your country you can go back home eventually like you're not it's not like venting goes out for you here except you go to like prison and stuff like that but i'm not talking about that okay we're not talking about crime here i'm talking about making some mistakes that can put you in trouble right at least you know that worst case scenario you have a country you have a home you have a you have family that are ready to accept you back like you have a place that you can always call home and it is accessible to you as well okay so that's what she said and i was like oh that makes sense knowing that i can go back home anytime like i can actually go back home and i'm planning it okay because it's one thing to say i can go back home anytime now lie you go day year 20 something years you're not going nowhere you highest thing you visit okay you have to actively plan to go back home for you to be able to pull it off okay especially in a country where you're kind of living from hand to mouth here yeah. you are kind of living from hand to mouth i mean depending on your job you know your salary and stuff like that the kind of job you have here but you are kind of living from hand to mouth so if you're not careful you're never going to have the financial freedom to go back home to nigeria especially since you are not going back home to a job waiting for you in nigeria or some kind of you know business or you know money waiting for you in nigeria if you don't work hard here and actually consciously make an effort to plan your exit you're going to remain here forever Okay, but if it's what you want, I mean, who cares? Like, this life, I don't know, heaven is the goal, I beg. Whether you're in Nigeria or in UK, heaven is the goal. But yeah, those are my unfiltered thoughts about Nigeria versus UK, what I like and what I don't like. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Yes, I know that some things I said is because I'm still new with time, with time. I know all that, but I'm just telling you about right now, how I feel right now um yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment section i'll see you all in my next video bye guys